poem numbering numbers and the mighty king of israel david sat on his throne and a conniving persuading voice came to him saying why let us number israel for it is a good thing to do knowing the amount of them there is to keep control of the masses and the messenger of the lord came to the king weeping woe for it is not permitted of thee to number the Lord's chosen people, for it is a sin against the living God. Woe! For the destruction that will follow shall bring chaos and much famine across the land, for they are the Lord's children. Not for thee to number, my king, you have been warned, for such said the Lord of hosts. The king declined the prophet and passed down the orders for the numbering anyway as if he knows not the lord of hosts they are my subjects and such pleases me to know of them all said king judah in all his glory and the messenger brought his presence to the king a second time around only this trip with threats from the living god your life or famine on the land which do thee prefer and your answer should be hasty said the prophet to king and after God set an example out of David for numbering his people, one would think after how much years Israel leaders would have learnt, but no. And the voted kings of modern Israel, Jamaica, makes a stance on their podium, and the chosen one out of them all started to break speech to the masses on how they will be numbered. If the leaders of our modern society have any sense, they would understand that they are only repeating the same atrocity King David blundered on. You know what? Stop. Bro God, or what you want to call yourself, don't number us. Or should I say, stop. For it is not within your authority to know us in numbers. But since you like trouble, Continue as if you don't know we are Israel. Hell is here for all who feel they can come against God without repayment. Numbering Numbers by Jawan Zadan